going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right, gang, real madness on this one, yeah? I woke up this morning, I got a DM on my Instagram, and this is what the DM says, check it out. Horton, Horton, you know, not even Hoxton, Horton, your channel sucks. I don't even watch your videos anymore, <laughs> but I need help. I've got five bills to spend, but I don't want any, spell A-N-I, I don't want any big brands, I'm more undercover, unlike you, you Wally. <laughs> You know what, when I saw that message, I, I was just cracking up to myself and I said, you know what, regardless, this guy needs help. So we're gonna do a five bills challenge video, okay? So what I'm gonna do is jump onto some retailers, got some retailers on my website, some mid-end retailers. I'm gonna choose a retailer. I'm gonna do a five bills, your channel sucks challenge <laughs> and sort this guy out. So check it out, I'm gonna do the challenge on my mobile. Um, I'm gonna find the items, five bills, and I'm even gonna try and get the items in and do a little try on for you guys, yeah? So this guy who thinks my channel sucks, I'm still gonna help him out anyway. So listen, without further ado, let's crack on with the video, yeah? Right, so I'm literally here in the studio space over in North London. I've just moved studios, so it's all good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the Fire Pools Challenge. I'm actually gonna do it on the mobile this time around, because I know a lot more people are using mobile. Fire Pools Challenge, the guy said that he wanted some kind of more lower key brands, nothing too hype. So maybe he's not really looking for stuff like Montclair or Canada Goose or Stone Island or CP Company. Maybe he's looking for something a little bit more low key. So that's fair enough. I think that's a cool challenge. I'm going to use the hoxandtrend.com to have a search for a retailer that I think kind of fits within like a mid range for like brands and stuff like that. So look, come on, let's, let's go and crack on with the video. Let's see if we can't do this. You suck. Five bills challenge, yeah? Right. So literally, I'm just going to jump onto our website, the hoxandtrend.com. I'm going to kind of use this as a reference for us to find um, some really cool retailers because if I go onto the retailers section of our website, you can see it right there. Me and the team have gone and done is we've put all of the retailers into um, different um, categories. So you can see here we've got luxury retailers, so all the luxury retailers are there premium retailers which you can see right there and then we've got what we call value retailers which are retailers that are going to sell probably like lower more lower priced items okay i'm going to pick someone from the premium retailers section so these guys are going to be more mid-end it's kind of more i would say like ranging from 100 to like maybe 400 pounds you're going to find these retailers kind of specialize in those type of areas okay so one of the retailers i actually like is equifs so i'm going to jump onto equifs bam let's start the five bills challenge real quick i've got five bills i'm gonna go into new in really like that champion shirt man that's really nice actually right browse browse bell staff jacket is real nice man that's blown our budget way out the window so i'm not gonna bother with that one gonna keep going see what else we can find that champion hoodie is real nice man i really like that hoodie maybe a little bit too hot for a hoodie this time of year but yeah those are nice really really feeling champion at the moment they're doing some cool stuff that cp company is real nice man but that's probably gonna blow our budget at 279 again this bell staff's dope but that's just blown our budget Mallet, need to do a review on Mallet, man. So many people asking me to do a review on the Mallet stuff. So yeah, don't worry, that's gonna be coming. I've got that in the pipeline. Um, early, early in the morning, it, it can be a little bit cold. Like in the nighttime, I was outside the other day and it was freezing, man. So I wouldn't have minded a jacket. So I think like a nice lightweight jacket, something like this Marstrom. I quite like this Marstrom jacket, man. 216, let me have a look, have a closer look at this one. Do you know what, just saw that color, the red one, they still got that, or the orange. Bam, really like this one. Do you know what, 216, Marstrom, Corvus, Windrunner jacket, easy now. I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna add that to the basket. Bam, add to bag, got that, all goody in the hoodie. Right, just made my way over to the t-shirt section over at Equifs. Bam, 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 what we got, what we got, what we got. Fred Perry, big fan of Fred Perry. Fred Perry stuff's quite cool. These are quite nice. I'm trying to think of an item that will go with the um, with the orange mask drum jacket as well. So let me see what could go with that. Gray would go well with that orange jacket. So I'm going to kind of see um, what we got in there. Instagram's going crazy. Lots of people hitting me up on the Instagram. Remember to follow me on the Hox and Trend. Always answering questions from you guys on there. So check it out, check it out. Do you know what? Just came across this Aqua Scutum right here and I'm really feeling this, man. I think this would go really nice with the orange jacket you know so aqua scoot and 55 i'm going to add that to the basket i'm really feeling that it's something a little bit different might not be something that i usually go for but i don't know i, I think that's going to be a good look bam i'm going to add that to the bag so that's all good what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start looking at some jeans so if we jump back over to clothing i can just go on the breakdown menu i can see jeans right there let's see if i can get these jeans i mean for jeans <clears throat> personally i'm a big fan of nudie jeans i've just come across this 
this um, new brand called New Denim as well. So I guess those two ones are kind of high on my list. Um, but in terms of other types of jeans, yeah, let's see what they got over at Equifs. Do you know what? Emporio Armani. I haven't had a pair of Emporio Armani jeans in, pff, mate, I can't even remember how long, man. I'm, I've just saw some Emporio Armani jeans that I like down here and they've gone down to, it was these ones. I, I kind of like the the shade of these ones. I thought this was pretty cool. So I'm going to just jump on there and see what they're saying. So nice kind of slim fit denim jeans, Imperial Armani. These are extra slim. I do like my jeans a little bit slim. I'm not sure about extra slim, but do you know what? I kind of like these ones. I think I'm going to give these a try. Bam. One, two, six. Add that to the basket. Got a pretty serious budget to play with. I've got 103 pounds to play with. Let's see what I could pick up. And I might even be well under my challenge and bust it. So I still got some change to take the missus out for a good old fashioned kebab. So that should be good. Really loving the look of these, man. Mason garments, these are quite nice. They look well made. Yeah, this is this is kind of my style, man. I really like that. Um, lots of people have been asking me to review mallet trainers. So that, that could be something that I could add. Lots of people have been asking me to do these filling pieces. I might, I don't know, these, or should I get these ones? 140, now at 140, that would literally blow the budget. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, since day one, people have been asking me to do reviews on these. So let's finally see what these are saying. Right, so here are the filling pieces trainers. They were 175 down to 140. I believe that they're made in Portugal. I know they're an Amsterdam brand. Um, they've been quite, they've been quite popular over the last couple of years. I'm gonna try and get these in. Right, so just added those to the basket. So that's all cool. So let's go to the checkout. Let's see. So look, 537. We're 537 pounds over budget. I think what we could do here to try and bring this back in line is maybe look at seeing if we can swap the jeans around right back onto the jeans let's see if there's anything else which i still think could be quite cool right boom 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 right do you know what i'm liking the look of these hugo boss 708 slim fit jeans in dark blue let's have a look at those that's 90 i might just be in budget with these so they're gonna get those in a 32 boom 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 Add that to the basket. Let's see what the total is now. View basket. So let's see. So we've got 627. If I were to take away the Armani jeans at 126, I'm still over budget, but it's 501. So 126 take away 627 is 501. I think what I'm going to do with this one, guys, is leave both of those jeans in as a comparison. But yeah, do you know what? I think we're going to leave it like that. So I've got two pairs of jeans. I'm only keeping one the Armani jeans to show you as an option. Um, got the filling pieces at 140, got the aqua scooter shut top at 55, and we've got the Marstrom jacket at 216 that went down in the cell. I'm literally gonna place this order, bam, place the order and get these items in so I can do like a try on for you guys, okay? So next time you see me, I'm gonna have the items in, I'm gonna do a special try on for you, and I might even do a special giveaway with one of the items, so stay tuned in about three seconds when I'm gonna fast forward to when I get these items in sometime during the week, okay? All right, gang, catch you in a bit. Peace out. So I've literally just got the box in from Equifs. All the stuff that we got in for the five bills challenge is in here. Now remember also that we got two pairs of jeans because one of the jeans that I kind of liked was the more expensive one was the Armani jeans, but that pushed us over budget. So I, what I did is I got in a pair of Hugo Boss jeans, which was around 90 pounds. So that kind of brought us back down, but it was only one pound over budget. I'm just gonna go through the items really quickly and show all the items to you. First item I'm gonna show you that's on the top is this Aqua Scutum t-shirt. Now, I really did like this t-shirt. It was a little bit different. Obviously, you got the Aqua Scutum print on the top there, so you got that nice bit of detail. But when I did try this on, I thought the fit was really nice. And also, the quality of it was pretty nice as well, and it was quite fitted. So yeah, really feeling the Aqua Scutum t-shirt. I think that was like 55 pounds for that one. So one of the items that I really did like as well was obviously the Marstrom kind of lightweight wind runner jacket. Obviously during the day it's kind of like roasting hot um, most of the time. But I just thought a jacket, like a, almost like a backup jacket. So if it gets too cold, you can kind of whip this on. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just kind of like the right amount of weight to it. Really feeling this Marstrom jacket. Really, really cool. Jeans that I got in was the Hugo Boss jeans. Now these were the ones that were 90 pounds. I tried these on. I wasn't too happy with the fit of these. I wasn't a big fan of these, if I'm to be honest with you. These ones were the ones that were 90 pounds. So this 
if you got the trainers, if you got the Marstrom and the Aqua Scutum, and you got these, you'd be at 501 on the budget. So just one pound over budget. Now the Armani was 126 pounds, but you know what? I really did like the color of the Armani. I like the fit of them. I thought the fit was really cool. Now these are extra slim fit, so maybe they were just a touch too slim for me, but I really like them, man. I thought they were really nice. The only thing I would probably note about the Armani is that the dye on the jeans, if you've got like white trainers or if you've got like a jacket which is like cream or white or yellow or like a light colour, you might find that the dye may rub off on the jacket or in the um, top, top of your trainers. That's something that I would just kind of be wary of is that the dye may bleed. Okay, so the last um, item that we got in is the filling pieces shoes. Um, it's the first time I got them in. Now I have opened them already. I did look at the quality and to be honest with you, I was really really impressed with the quality and the build. Handcrafted in Portugal. Now a lot of really good quality shoes are made in Portugal. Well made, robust. You can just feel that there's quality all throughout this shoe. Now as I was saying, the style of this shoe is not really typically normally me. I do know fight filling pieces is really, really popular at the moment though. So all of these pieces, minus the Armani jeans, came up to 501. Now if you wanted to drop out, for example, the filling pieces, like let's say you've got enough shoes already, you didn't need this, then maybe you could go for the um, jeans as well and forget the trainers and that would leave you under budget. I'm not quite sure how much, but that would leave you under budget. So you don't have to go out and spend five bills on all these items. It's more just an example to kind of show you guys what different things you can spend your money on. You could make yourself up like a one bill challenge, two bill challenge, three bills challenge, and you know, like with these items here, you could take a few away and then you've got yourself like a free bills challenge if you're just looking for, I don't know, two pairs of jeans and a top or you know, two jackets and just a pair of trainers. You can always mix this up, mix this stuff up. So this is just all just an example, okay? So don't just start running out, spending five bills because you feel you need to, because you don't. I think I'm gonna give away this Marstrom piece. So I'm gonna do a big time giveaway for you guys, okay? First things first, all you gotta do is jump onto our um, YouTube channel and make sure that you have subscribed onto our YouTube channel, yeah? Second thing to do is jump on over to our Instagram and make sure you're following the hoxtontrend.com. Jump on to Icus as well and make sure that you're following them over on Instagram, okay? The third thing to do is add three of your homies into the Instagram post so they can also see the competition is going on as well, okay? Guys, and that's it for the competition. Done and dusted. So um, that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the Five Bulls Challenge. I've got loads more Five Bulls um, Challenge videos coming if you want to see like different bills or different types of stores or anything like that just leave a comment on the comments box below and let us know what you want to see okay catch you in a bit peace out